as perhaps the greatest chess player of all time, when you look introspectively at your psychology throughout your career, what was the bigger motivator? The love of winning or the hatred of losing? Tough question. I have to confess, I never heard it before, which is, again, congratulations. It's quite an accomplishment. <laughs> um, losing was always painful. It, for me, it was almost like a physical pain because I knew that if I lost the game, it's just because I made a mistake. So it, I always believed that the, the result of the game uh, had to be decided by the quality of my play. Okay, you may say it sounds arrogant, but it helped me to move forward because I always knew that there was room for improvement. So it's the. Was there the fear of the mistake? Actually, fear of mistake guarantees mistakes. And the difference between uh, top players at the very top is that it's the ability to make a decision. Yeah. without predictable consequences. You don't know what's happening. It's just intuitively. I can go this way or that way. And uh, there are always hesitations. You know, people are like, you're, you're just you know, at the crossroad. You can go right, you can go left, you can go straight. You can turn and go back. And the consequences are just un very uncertain. Just, you have certain ideas what happens on the right or on the left or on just you know, if you go straight. But it's not enough to make well-calculated choice. And uh, when you play chess at the very top, it's, 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 it's about your inner strength. So I can make this decision. I will stand firm and I'm not going to waste my time because I have full confidence that I will go through. Um, now going back to the original question is, I would say neither. It's just, it's the, it's love for winning, hate for losing. There were important elements, psychological elements, but the key element it's the i would say the the driving force was always my passion for for making a making a difference it's just i can move forward and i can always it's i can always enjoy not just playing but creating something new creating something new how do you think about that it's just uh, finding new ideas in the openings you know some original plan in the middle game it's Actually, that helped me to make the transition from the game of chess, where I was on the very top, to, to another life, where I knew I would not be number one. I would not be necessarily on the top, but I could still be very active and productive by my ability to make the difference, by influencing people, say, joining the democratic movement in Russia, or talking to people about uh, human-machine relations. There's so many things where I knew my influence may not be as decisive as in chess, but still strong enough to help people to make their choices. So you can still create something new that makes a difference in the world outside of chess.